Let's now cross live to Oweri, the Imo State Capitol, where Governor Hope Uzodema is being inaugurated for a second term in office. Your Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Nigerian Armed Forces, President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu GCFR, your Excellency, the former President of Nigeria, Chief Olusegun of Basanjo GCFR, Your Excellency, Senator Hope Uzodim Masiwen, the governor that is moving from one term to the other, the man that has rebranded Imo State and given it hope. I welcome Your Excellency, the First Lady of Imo State and the first ladies of 21 states here are present. Let me welcome your excellencies, the governors that are here. I'd like to welcome you, your excellency, the outgoing deputy governor of the state, your excellency, the incoming deputy governor of the state. Let me welcome all the members of the National Assembly here present, the ones that are former and the ones that are serving. I'd like to welcome the President General of Ohanez and Ibo, the National Working Committee of APC, the Imo State Chairman of APC, members of the Diplomatic Corps and Development Partners that are here, our Royal Fathers, my laws, temporal and spiritual, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, today is an amazing day. Today is a day that we say congratulations to Imo State. It looked like yesterday when this man took over in the midst of political challenges in the state, the masslessness of COVID-19, a depressed global economy, and he came and he rebranded Emo State for hope. Over 300,000 students trained in digital economy, over 300 kilometers of road to the point of having at least five kilometers in each local government. The health facilities are qualitative and affordable. And after four years of reconstructing, of rehabilitating, of recovery, we are here starting the journey for the next four years. I welcome all of you. My name is Ebera Young, and O.K. Bakasi will be handling this with me, okay? Thank you very much, Ebera Young, my brother. Ace Broadcaster, compare extraordinaire. Your Excellencies, distinguished gentlemen, welcome to Imo State, the Eastern Heartland. This state gave this nation its first individual Olympic gold medalist. This state has produced great men and women. This state arguably has the highest number of celebrities in Nollywood. This state is made up of engineers, doctors, entrepreneurs, people who have distinguished themselves both in politics and in business. And this state welcomes all of you today as we swear in our governor for his second term to kickstart today's event Please permit me to invite the Government House Choir to give us a special rendition to just help us settle into our seats before we start today's program. The Government House Choir, please. Dalu, 
atmosphere for prayers as I invite here His Grace Most Reverend Dr. Lucio Sugoji to please step forward and give us the opening prayers. The stage is hot. The atmosphere is very, very wonderful. The State House Choir has set the atmosphere for our prayers to go straight to God. I welcome here His Grace most Reverend Dr. Lucius Gorgi. Okay, so, and also here with us, as His Grace, Most Reverend Dr. Lucius Gorgi, stepping down gingerly, uh, I'd like to welcome here the President of the Nigerian Senate, the uncommon Senate President, uh, the one that I still think, we should say, still say, Happy birthday in celebration of Imo State and himself, uh, His Excellency, Distinguished Senator Godswill Obotapabio. I welcome you to Imo State, the uncommon Senate President. Please let's clear the path uh, for His Grace to please step forward here and give us the opening prayers. Let's clear the path. I also understand that the Deputy Speaker 
of the House of Representatives, the Right Honorable Benjamin Kano, is also here with us. This event is cross-cultural. This event is national in outlook. This event has brought together virtually everybody from diverse origins and heritage. Emo State has become the melting pot of our nation. Everywhere, from Kotangura to Ibadan, from Enugu to Sokoto, from Meduguri to Mina, everybody's here at the Dananyam Stadium. This event shows the national outlook of Imo State. This event shows the national relevance of His Excellency, the governor of Imo State. Please help His Grace to climb the stairs, please. Thank you. Hold his hand, please. Hold his hand. Thank you. So he will give us the opening prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, you are the Alpha and the Omega, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. All power, authority, and sovereignty belong to you. You created all things, and everything you created is for your own glory. You govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, you set rulers and authorities in their places. Through you, authority is rightly administered. To you be all glory, praise, adoration, and thanksgiving. O God of power and might, we present to you your servant, distinguished Senator Hope Uzodima, who is about to be sworn in at this inauguration ceremony to commence his second tenure as governor of Imo State. We implore you to anoint him with the unction of the Holy Spirit, the spirit of power, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and fear of the Lord. Shield him from the wiles of the evil one. Draw him closer to you every day, that he may always hear your voice clearly and distinctly as he tries to discern solutions to the problems and challenges of our state. Give him the heart that beats for the welfare of one and all in Amos State. Empower him that he may act with honesty, justice, equity, and integrity in all situations. Bring wise and competent and honest people to surround him as advisors and helpers. Speak truth to him through the voices of those he trusts. Give him wisdom to rejoice the voices of those who would urge him to seek only personal power, glory, and aggrandizement. We also present to you, O merciful Father, your daughter, Lady Chinyere Ikomaru, who is also about to be sworn in as the Deputy Governor of Imo State at this inauguration ceremony. O oh God, may she know the favor of your divine protection as she discharges her duties. Fill her with the spirit of counsel and fortitude to condo the affairs of her office in righteousness and fear of the Lord. Pour your divine light of wisdom upon her to faithfully collaborate with the governor in the development of Imo State. We equally pray for distinguished Senator Bola Ahmed Tenebo, 
the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who is here today to grace this inauguration ceremony with his presence. Strengthen him with the spirit of wisdom that his administration may be conducted with righteousness, justice, and equity. Assist him with your spirit that he may always pursue the common good of our nation without discrimination. May he execute the laws of the nation with justice and mercy. Give him the wisdom to unite our divided nation so that all citizens will live in peace and harmony in any part of the country without threats, intimidation, or molestation. May he seek to restrain crime, bloodshed, and violence in our nation and restore security, safety, and peace in our communities. We likewise commend over mercy all the citizens of Imo State. In the harsh economic situation we find ourselves in the country, provide for your children in their needs. Sustain our hope in you and do not allow us to be despondent in the face of difficulties and hardship. At this time of widespread insecurity in our country, we implore you, God of mercy and compassion, to give us that peace which the world cannot give. Strengthen us to rededicate ourselves to the task of building up our state. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Thank you very much, His Grace. Um, okay. Uh, thank you very much, His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Lucius Ogoji, Catholic Bishop of Oweri. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as we begin to make preparations towards the swearing in first of the Deputy Governor before the governor will invite members of the judiciary to take position we did have a provision on the program for his excellency to go around acknowledge greetings if he's ready we can take that otherwise we can make adjustments and proceed with the swearing of first the Deputy Governor-elect of first, the Deputy Governor-elect taking their position right now are members of the judiciary led by the Chief Judge, the very Honorable Justice Teresa E. Chukwe Meka Chikeka. Let me use this opportunity to acknowledge members of the judiciary from the High Court, the Customary Court of Appeal, the Federal High Court, retired judges here present, chief registrars and their deputies will welcome you all. While we are putting effects together um, for the swearing in of the Deputy Governor, let me welcome here the entire National Assembly hierarchy are here today. The Senate President is here, the Speaker of the House of Representatives. My Lord, the Honorable the Chief Judge of Ibo State. Okay, all right. And his brother, Judges of Ibo State. Right Honorable Tajudin Abbas, PhD, is also here. Thousand students uh, through the skill of appreciation had gotten laptop to start up their own business to become entrepreneurs. Governor Hofu Zodima had dealt mercilessly with the bad roads in Imo. While we are trying to.
sort out the technical issues. Emo State, through the Okigoro, we have you will notice that it's a new road that we are talking about. From the Olu zone, Governor Uzodima made that place a peaceful haven, a place where you could be riding your vehicle and you'll be sleeping. Not to say that, it's just to say that the road is smooth. It wasn't like that before. The Owerendise road is also having a new look. Governor Hope Uzodima here in Emo State had opened up many urban area, um, roads here in Emo State. Governor Hope Uzodima had also so Thank you very much. For the beautiful infrastructure, again we, we as well as celebrate was in the what sector, real governance is all about. Had done marvelously well. Four years of rebranding Emo State done, to restore hope, uh, to renew hope, up in the three to revive hope of Emo State. Four and years today, a new of making the people believe. Beginning. In qualitative governance, uh, I would like to implore the technical people with a lady, lady to give them a wired mic Uwama very quickly. Ikumara. This is the second time a woman is becoming a deputy governor in Imo State. Imo State is friendly. Imo State is entertaining. Imo State is where everyone has a place. The woman, the youth, and of course the man. Just like the, uh, some of the um, Camperers has said here today, Imo is full of talent, and in every aspect, everyone is given an opportunity to, to excel. Today, Lady Chinyone Ekumaru is going to stay the government of Imo State with Senator Hopu Zadema, and there is no doubt they are going to be they are going to do Imo proud with well coordinated three R mantra, which will be renewed. Imo is set to move. Lady Kumari is still signing her documents and getting ready. I'm sure many um, women will be proud of her today. And of course, we applaud Imo for giving a woman a place in government. This is what everyone desires. Today, once again, we have to state that Monday is no longer a sit at home day. Emo is speedful. Investors can come in and do business. This is all through the courage of Roman, the executive governor of Emo State. And Emo people are ready to bring states that they are peaceful, they are loving, and everyone is welcome to come do business in Emo State. Today, as early as 8 a.m., the governor of Emo State had been at the Emphasis Remembrance Day. It had been a great event agog and as you can see it's been a very tedious but a very great day for him lady chinyere kumaru is still doing her signing and with all her heart we can see she is ready for government of emo state general assembly the entire management of national assemblies senate president speaker deputy speaker and the rest of the national assembly people that are here imagine 21 first ladies from across the country here imagine businessmen car bac the onion of Fulfair is here the obi of furniture is also here engineer prince arthur is also here with us we welcome all of you very extremely important people that have come today to celebrate with the Imo State. about visitors in Imo State, the number one citizen of Nigeria is here, President Mohammed, President Tinubu, Ahmed Tinubu is here. Also, the former president of Nigeria, President Ulushigo Obasanjo is here. We have some deputy governors from some governors and of course the 21 first ladies who had come to be part of this epoch-making event. Everyone is seated for this event.
I, Lady Chinyere Ihoma Ekomaru, do solemnly swear, affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria and that I will preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. I, Lady Chinyere Ihoma Ekomaru, do solemnly swear, affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that as the Deputy Governor of Imo State, I will discharge my duties to the best of my ability, faithfully and in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the law and always in the interest of the sovereignty, integrity, solidarity, well-being, and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that I will strive to preserve the fundamental objectives and directives, principles, directive principles of the state policy contained in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that I will exercise the authority vested in me as deputy governor so as not to impede or pre prejudice the authority lawfully vested in the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and so as not to endanger the continuance of Federal Republic governments in Nigeria. That I will not allow my personal interests to influence my office conduct or my official decisions that I will be the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that I will abide by the Code of Conduct contained in the fifth schedule to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that all circumstances I will do right to all manner of people according to law without fear or favor, affection or ill will, that I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal to any person any matter which shall be brought under my consideration or shall become known to me as Deputy Governor of Imo State, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Deputy Governor of Imo State. So help me God. This is to announce the arrival of the Governor of River State, His Excellency, Mr. Tim Sim Fubara. You welcome the Governor. Also, we've just seen the arrival of the Governor of Ogun State, His Excellency, Sir Dagba Biodo. You're welcome, sir.
Congratulations. Make way. Make way for the man of the moment. Yeah, yeah. Our governor, your governor, a very distinguished senator. Hope Osadima. I want your call. The seventh governor of Imo State. I want your call. I love to see. Yeah. Welcome, His Excellency, the Deputy Senate yeah. President, Senator Baraje I. Jibrin, C O N. Ladies and gentlemen, our governor, yeah. your governor. Yeah. Yeah. Give me His Excellency, you. the governor of Imo State. Hello. Hello. G. Make way. Yeah. Yeah. G. For him and his beautiful wife, G. the most beautiful I'm, I'm, first I'm, lady I'm, of the I'm, Federal I'm, Republic I'm, of Nigeria. I'm, 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 Chief Marissa Chama. <laughs> Senator Hope Zodima, a Nigerian politician who serves as governor of Imo State since 2020. On 14th January 2020, the Supreme Court of Nigeria declared Senator Hope Zodima governor of Imo State. Today, Senator Hope Zodima is the executive governor of Imo State for a second time. 2023 Imo State gubernatorial election was held here on the 11th November 2023. And the incumbent APC governor, Hopu Zodima. In your favor, history is made. This is the first governor to have a sitting president attend his inauguration. It deserves a round of applause.
While they are crossing the T's and dotting the I's, it's important to note that our governor is a man with vast experience in public service. He did serve as senator representing Imo West in the National Assembly from June 2011 to June 2019. This great son of Amuma Inoru East is also the chairman of Southeast Governors Forum. Ladies and gentlemen, our governor, Senator Hope Uzadima. It is worthy of note that in an election, it's a party affair, but today, Imo people celebrate as one. The 27 local governments that have voted for His Excellency are all here represented to be part of this history-making event. Because he's a man whose influence cuts across, people have come from far and wide. We have seen royalty from all parts of Nigeria. Also here is the Esunupe himself, Alhaji Dr. Yahya Abubakar, Chairman Niger State for Life, amongst other royalties. The Ubi of Anisha is here, the Oni of Ife is here, the judge of Opobo is here. The chairman of the State Council of Traditional Rulers and traditional rulers from all across the country, all fully represented. We also have a full representation of the clergy, bishops from all over. He's a man whose tentacles cut across party lines. That is why we have governors from different political affiliations here today to honor his inauguration. I, distinguished Senator Hope Uzodima, do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria and that I will preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. Oath of office of the governor of Imo State. I, 
distinguished Senator Hope Uzadima, do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and be true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that as the governor of Imo State, I will discharge my duties to the best of my ability, faithfully, and in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the law, and always in the interest of the sovereignty, integrity, solidarity, well-being, and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that I will strive to preserve the fundamental objectives and directives principles of state policy contained in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that I will exercise the authority vested in me as governor so as not to impede or prejudice the authority lawfully vested in the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, so as not to endanger the continuance of federal government in Nigeria, that I will not allow my personal interests to influence my official conduct or my official decisions, that I will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that I will abide by the code of conduct contained in the fifth shadow to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that in all circumstances, I will do right to all manner of people according to law, without fear or favor, affection or ill will, that I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal to any person any matter that shall be brought under my consideration or shall become known to me as governor of Imo State, except as it may be required for the due discharge of my duties as governor, and that I will devote myself to the service and well-being of the people of Imo State. So help me God. Excellency, congratulations. Excellency, you might wish to talk and then I'll show you the judges. I introduce you to the judges. Oh, God. Right, it's time to introduce His Excellency to the judges as he moves from His Honorable Justices one after the other. After his swearing in, His Excellency will inspect a special guard of honor mounted by officers and men of the Nigerian Police Force. By the authority conferred on me by the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the law, 
as the Chief Judge of Imo State, I hereby present to Imo people, Nigeria and the world at large, the Governor of Imo State, His Excellency, Distinguished Senator Odedeka Ozademma. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. Those were the words of Honorable Justice Stasa Chukwemeka Chikeka, the Chief Judge of Imo State. It's official. A very big congratulations Give to the G. executive Give governor of Ibo State, Give the state senator Hope Uzodema, and his deputy, Lady Chinyere Uhoma Ekomaru. G. 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 Our time has been fast spent. On this note, may I respectfully invite the executive governor of Ibo State, His Excellency, distinguished senator Hope Uzodema, Back to the saluting dice for parade commander to march and report the states of officers of men on parade to the reviewing officer of the parade and thereafter invite his excellencies to inspect the guard on parade. Your excellency, sir. <laughs> Open the governor mic. Open the governor mic. The parade commander will now invite the reviewing officer of this inauguration parade to inspect the guards on parade. Excellencies, senior officers serving and retired, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, we witnessed a while ago the parade commander inviting the reviewing officer to inspect the guards on parade. It might interest you to know that it is customary for the reviewing officer to inspect the guards before commencement of the march past. The inspection is done to showcase the loyalty of the officers and men to their commander and their readiness to undertake the duty for which they have been commissioned or enlisted to perform. The Executive Governor of Imo State, Distinguished Senator Ho Puzodima, who is the reviewing officer of this parade, has gallantly mounted the motorcade 
to inspect the guards on parade alongside the parade commander SB Sunday Nathan Irimia. Directly behind the governor is the aide de camp to His Excellency DSP Abdul Abdul Mumini, while the driver of the motorcade is Inspector Yakubu Muhammad. Please, as his, the, his Excellency inspects the Guard of Honor, I am not expecting guests to join him. He's not your Guard of Honor. You can wave from wherever you are. Your Excellency, senior officers serving and retired, officers, distinguished, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is noteworthy to mention that this is the first assignment the Executive Governor of Imo State is carrying out. Your Excellency, senior officers serving and retired, officers, distinguished, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is noteworthy to mention that this is the fourth assignment the Executive Governor of Imo State is carrying out after taking his oath of office as a man on parade to make sure that they are fit for the parade and most importantly, the they carry out their constitutional SP mandate Henry of Okoye. maintaining law and order, yes. putting well you through, providing helping you understand what exactly is happening today. This is very colorful. It's indeed very special. It's heartwarming to watch His Excellency inspect his guard of honor, mounted by officers and men of the Nigerian police force. It's indeed a special day. As the reviewing officer inspired the guards on parade, permit me to acquaint you with the origin and significance of the flags. The Nigerian flag was designed by Mike Taiwo Akinkumi, who was officially and was officially adopted to represent our dear nation at midnight on 1st October 1960, the day our dear country gained independence. The flag was chosen as part of a nationwide open contest held by the government, with Akinkumi's design being selected as the winner of a field of over 3,000 entries. The flag is a vertical bicolor, green, white, green, with the green to represent the country's wealth, rich natural resources, and white to represent peace and unity. The flag was raised at the Independence Day of Nigeria on the 1st of October, 1960, for the first time. Why the regimental flag of the Nigerian police force comprises of three equal horizontal stripes of blue, yellow, and green, with police crest at the center. The blue color signifies love, loyalty, and unity why the yellow color signifies discipline and resourcefulness, and green energy and light, why the eagle on the crest represents strength, the tip staffs stand for authority and office, and the elephant for reliability and steadfastness, and the lawn for Nigerian-rich vegetation. Yes, that is helping us understand what the police flag represents. Our very special guest today, His Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, we welcome you all to Igbo land. It is important to tell our guests who are out of Igbo land to understand that this is one of Africa's largest ethnic groups located in the southeast of the Great River Niger, comprising Abia, God's own state, Imo, the Eastern Heartland, Anambra, the light of the nation, Enugu, the cold city, and Ebony, the salt of the nation. We Igbos, we are the cementing agent that holds Nigeria together. It is the home region of Nigeria's first president. We have contributed in sports and in national development. 
And we are the one tribe that if you show us a desert, we turn it into an, a farmland. You show us a swamp, we turn it into a modern market. We are hardworking people. This function is over. May I have your kind permission to carry on with the rest of the pride, Your Excellency. The parade commander, SP Sunday Nathan Iremia, has requested permission to carry on with the rest of the parade, and permission has been granted by His Excellency, Distinguished Senator Hope Uzodima, the Executive Governor of Imo State. The parade commander is now marching smartly to take his position to give the orders of the guards to form three ranks and commence the march pass. The parade will not commence from slow time to quick time. Open the governor's mic. Where we must first is slow and quick time. Division. Open the governor's mic. Where we must first. Time. The Executive Governor of Imo State, His Excellency, Distinguished Senator Hope Uzodima, to the podium. Your Excellency, the President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. President Bola Ahmed Tinimbu, GCFR. Your Excellency, the former President of Nigeria, President Olusegun Obasanjo, GCFR. Your Excellency, the President of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Distinguished Senator Goswil Ababio, Your Excellency, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, the Deputy Senate President, Senator Barua Jubril, and other distinguished senators here present, the Deputy Speaker, of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Benjamin Carlo, my brother, Principal Officers and Members of the National Assembly, serving and non-serving, Your Excellencies, the Governors of the various states of Nigeria here present, and the representatives of some governors who are not able to be here today. Your Excellency, the wife of the governor of Imo State, Barista Mrs. Shoma Uzodima. Your Excellencies, the wives of the governors of other states who are here today in this occasion. The national chairman of the largest party in black and white Africa, All Progressive Congress, Alaji Ganduje Ablai. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Imo State, Lady Chinyere Komaru and her dear husband. Your Excellencies, the Deputy Governors of Enugu and Anambra State, and the immediate past Deputy Governor of Imo State, Professor Placid Njoku and his wife. 
the President General of Hanes Ndibo, Engineer Dr. Isi Iwayaun, and other leaders of Hanes Ndibo present here today. The Speaker in most State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Chike Olembe, and other members of Imo State House of Assembly. The Chief Judge of Imo State, Honorable Justice Teresa Chikeka, and my laws, the judges of Imo State and visiting judges that are here today with us. Members of the Judiciary, Honorable Ministers, Ministers of State of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, serving and non-serving. The National Working Committee of our Great Party, APC. The South East Working Committee and National Executive Committee. The State Chairman of our party and members of the State Executive. Your Excellencies, the former Deputy Governors of Imo State here present. The former Governors of Imo State, Chief Ikero Hakim and Chief Rocha Sokorocha. Chairman of federal governments, parastatas, and members of commissions and boards. The Secretary to the Government of Imo State, Chief Cosmos Iwu, and members of Imo State expanded executive council. Your Royal Majesties, revered and highly respected traditional rulers of Nigeria who are here, starting with the OB of Onicha. The Oni of Ife, the Ezimo, the Esunupe, the Obong of Kalaba, King Jaja of Opobo, your Grace, the Archbishop Lucius Ugoji, the Archbishop of Owere Catholic Archdiocese, your Grace, the Archbishop David Onoha, the Archbishop of Owere Ecclesiastical Province of the Anglican Communion. We are grace the Archbishop Chubuzo of Oko, the Methodist Archbishop of Umuahe, bishops and members of the clergy and the religious, the Chairman Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, heads of security agencies and paramilitary organizations in Imo State, Heads of the tertiary institutions in Imo State, Your Royal Highnesses, Ndiaze, the Chairman Imo State Elders Council, His Royal Highness SSCI Lomaya, leaders and members of the Elders Council of Imo State, leadership and members of Labor, Nigerian Labor Union, NLC, TUC, NOGE, NUT, NUJ, and Naoja in Imo State leadership and members of various civil society organizations, leadership and members of various coalition groups, support groups, youth and women organizations, the Hausa community in Imo State, the Yoruba communities in Imo State, the Skill Up Imo Youth, Divine Minded Women, Isamata, and members of Nigeria Union of Road Transport Workers, Distinguished Nigerians, Development Partners, Captains of industry, members of the diplomatic corps, and invited personalities and dignitaries, great faithfuls of all progressive congress, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. My esteemed and beloved people of Imo State, it is to the glory of God that we are privileged to witness this momentous occasion of my swearing in as the governor of Imo State for a second tenure. I am very mindful of the fact that this would not have been possible without your love and support at the governorship election of November 11, 2023. Let me once more thank you all most sincerely for finding me worthy to be your governor again for the next four years. As you witnessed, I have just performed the solemn ritual of taking the oath of office 
to defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And to it is a renewal of my covenant with God and the good people of Imo State. That covenant is to serve Imo people honestly and faithfully to the best of my ability and with the fear of God. So I give God the glory for making this day possible. I once again declare my profound gratitude to Imo people who through their unprecedented massive support for me in the November 11, 2023 governorship election made this day possible. Never in the history of democracy in our state has any governor won in all the local government areas of the state. But you did it for me. Thank you very much indeed. By that victory, I've entered into a social contract with all the Imo people, and it is a contract I intend to honor. I cannot proceed further without extending my deepest appreciation to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinimbu, GCFR, for honoring us today with his highly esteemed presence. Mr. President, sir, Imo people feel very happy indeed that you squeeze that time from your usually crowded programs to be personally present in, at this event. It speaks volumes of your love for Imo people. Thank you, Mr. President, and welcome. I also welcomed in a very special manner the former president of Nigeria, President Olushegon Obasanjo, GCFR. To my brothers and colleagues governors present here today, the chairman of our great party, His Excellency Abdullah Omar Ganduja, leadership and members of the National Assembly, Honorable Ministers and members of the Federal Executive Council, highly revered traditional rulers, notable leaders and members of the clergy from different parts of the country. I want to thank you, and our gratitude will remain immeasurable for this honorous love you've all shown to Imo State this afternoon. On that note, let me gladly recall that in the last four years, we have demonstrated a high degree of commitment to duty. We demonstrated vision and purpose. We were also able to demonstrate that managing public funds honestly, prudently, and transparently is doable, and also use more dividends of democracy. Expectedly, our shared prosperity mantra which is the philosophical fulcrum of my administration, was able to address the problem of infrastructural deficit and the near absence of governance that we met on the ground in January 2020 when we came on board. Through the provision of extensive road infrastructure, we've been able to lay a solid foundation for the accelerated economic growth and development of our state we also address the decay we met in the civil service, the decay we met in the education sector and the health sector. In addition, we address the lingering problem of unemployment through a variety, the variety of youth empowerment initiatives. And we introduce the, the, the digital version of dealing with all the employment market, all the employment market, which included the provision of digital and other portable skills 
including artificial intelligence, to our teaming young men and women. There is therefore no gain saying that the right foundation has been put in place in the last four years to enable our state to move to the next level. Now that another tenure of four years has been availed to us, and we are ready, able, and determined to take our state to the next level, the next four years of my administration will therefore focus firmly on deepening our shared prosperity mantra through massive infrastructural expansion to ensure accelerated economic growth. I have already signaled this new direction in the 2024 budget, which capital expenditure has the share the lion's share of 491.2 billion naira out of the total budget of 591.2, representing 83% for capital projects. This transformational journey, which we have commenced in 2024 budget, will be sustained in the next four years. And by the grace of God, the, re the progress and successes recorded in the last four years, by the end of these next four years, will be completely dwarfed by the achievements of this second tenor. In doing so, our vision is anchored on a 10-year development plan, which has been outlined in my vision document. The development plan has the capacity to transform Imo State into an industrial, self-sufficient state in the next 10 years. This 10-year development plan is also designed to deepen the intervention framework of my 3R mantra of recovery, rehabilitation, and reconstruction. In the development plan, we have identified the priority sectors, including industries and projects particularly agro-industries and our march towards food security. And this will accelerate the economic prosperity of our dear state, Imo, such as the Orage Free Trade Zone and the supporting businesses that will follow by the petrochemicals, industries, gas processing facilities, and other industrial companies that will use gas as raw materials. Another focus on the plan is to harness our agricultural potentials and exploit the mineral resources and align them to the proposed establishment of a ceramic industry and the agro-processing facilities across the three geopolitical zones of our state. The lifespan of the development plan was deliberately made to last beyond my tenure of four years because I believe that government is a continuum. Let me assure you, on my honor, I am determined to exceed my own first tenure records. As I say in my New Year broadcast, my second tenure achievements would have the achievements of my first tenure. Those who follow the evangelical zeal of St. Paul in the Bible we know that he put in more effort in his second missionary journey because he wanted to consolidate on the gains of the first journey. The spirit of St. Paul's second missionary journey shall be the spirit that will drive my second tenure in office. In like manner, I have been great, greatly inspired by the audacious and visionary transformational program and policies of President Bola Ahmed Tinimbu GCFR, his emphasis on infrastructural development through generous budgetary provisions for capital expenditure defines the quality of a leader that is burning both in desire to develop this country. I'm therefore delighted that I found that my second tenure will be centered on the massive economic development of the state, which
which will permeate every community or world. We shall kickstart this through our Community Economic Development Initiative, otherwise known as SEDI. Consequently, within the first 12 months of the current tenure, every community in Imo State will feel the impact with at least one significant project fully executed for them in the state. In the coming weeks, working with the local government council leadership, each community will be expected to identify one project that they want to do for, they want government to do for them. The chosen project must have a direct and immediate impact on the overall economy of the communities. It could be in form of provision of electricity. It could be in, it could be in form of provision of potable water, road construction, health facilities, market development, and so on and so forth. Further details and modalities for this community economic development initiative will be made available within the next few weeks. As I mentioned earlier, the policy trust of my second tenure will continue to be a massive investment in infrastructure, full recovery of the economy to a sustainable level, human capital development with emphasis on youth empowerment and the educational advancement of our children, coupled with the further invigoration of the civil service for more efficient service delivery. Anything recurrent is considered the normal or statutory business of government. Therefore, it must be taken care of in the course of governance. In my normal tradition, the prompt payment of salaries and pensions will remain a priority. My priority areas going forward will be on a 15 critical sectors needed for the sustainable development of Imo State, and which is really in line with our 10-year development plan. And this, this will be in tandem with my 3R mantra that I've mentioned earlier. And they include investments in the following areas, road infrastructure, education, health, sanitation, water supply, agriculture and food security, housing and new cities development, digital infrastructure, transportation infrastructure, market access, industrial policy, safety and security, enabling laws and policies, public financial management, and electricity infrastructure. In line with the standard institutional framework, each of these sectors is to be implemented in such a manner that the results would readily impact the economy and standard of living of the citizenry. My dear brothers and sisters, as you know, Imo State belongs to all of us, and building the state of our dream will require the contributions of every one of us, irrespective of your political affiliation. The time has come to bury all those differences so we can work collectively to develop our state. Remember, this is the only state we can beat our chest and truly call our own. Therefore, we should all think of how we can contribute to her growth instead of leaving it to the government alone. The least we can do to demonstrate our love and patriotic zeal for our state is to be law-abiding and responsible citizens who take our civic obligations in our state very seriously. Our simple civic obligations, like paying taxes, observing traffic rules, disposing our waste in a very civilized manner, and keeping our environment clean, can go a long way towards helping the government to succeed. In the same vein, I urge all those with their withal to think of establishing industries, especially in the rural areas, to help create jobs for our youth. 
On our part as a government, we will continue to provide an enabling environment and assistance to encourage all well-meaning investors coming into Imo State with short and long-term incentives. My beloved Imo people, Ndimo, I have just given you a synopsis of my vision and mission for the next four years, which should suffice for this occasion. Having said that, I want us to see the event of today as remarkable because it opens a new page in our history. That new page is the commencement of our determined march to economic growth and self-sufficiency. It heralds the new dawn in our efforts to develop Imo State and make it one of the leading industrial states in Nigeria and indeed West Africa. This is our vision and mission, and it is doable. In this regard, I am pleased to inform you that our shared prosperity flight, which is taking us to the great Imo State of our dream, is now at cruising altitude. So relax, unfasten your seatbelt, and enjoy the rest of the flight. An experienced and dependable captain is in charge. I would also like you to take this home from this ceremony today. By the time we are through with another four years, the institutional and infrastructural structures we would have put in place will make it a Herculean tax for any pharaoh to take him state back to Egypt. Let me assure you that my second tenure shall be defined as an uncommon apostolic zeal and tenacious application of clinical efficiency in the execution of policies. The task is to make Imo State the industrial hub of the Southeast, Nigeria, and indeed West Africa. It is on that our generation, it is, it is one that our generation must accomplish to the glory of God. Once again, with due humility and love, I want to thank Mr. President and all the dignitaries who are here today for honoring us with their presence. Thank you, Ndimo, for your love and uncommon solidarity. I invite all of us to work with me to build a great Imo that we shall all be proud of. Let us forgive and forget the past. Let us reconcile. Let us take advantage of this new opportunity to make the difference. We can deliver our state, and I so believe that with God on our side, Imo shall be better. Thank you, and may God bless all of us. Long live Ndimo. Long live Imo State. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you very much, Your Excellency, distinguished Senator Hope, who's the man, the Executive Governor of Imo State. On this note, may I respectfully invite the Executive Governor of Imo State back to the saluting dice for the parade commander to take permission to commence the parade. Your Excellency, sir. Chine can name me one of a days again. When your man to go, me read something. Will you govern a decade? Will you govern a barricade? Will you cross river? A kid, will you govern a decade? Let me use this opportunity to thank, to thank some of the honorable justices from the appeal court, the national uh, police.
please before we Ima. take the next Ima. open this mic open the mic for president special guest to address us. The children can be entertaining us with the calisthenics. The children can be entertaining us there with the calisthenics as we prepare for the special guest to come talk to emo people. It is called the calisthenics of joy. Today is indeed a day for celebration. We celebrate this generation, we celebrate the coming generation. These young children represent the future of the state, and as so they can begin to perform now as we are with His Excellency, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu Gisefar, to address us. Children, you can take it away now. Thank you, the engineer. Thank you. 
Your Excellency, the President of Nigeria. Your Excellency, our Father, former President of the Federal Republic, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo. The Senate President, God's will affirm you, the uncommon leader, the Speaker House of Representatives, The Deputy Senate President, Deputy Speaker, former President, the Air President, National That's Chairman of our great party, the largest party in Africa, Umar Ganduji, my very good friend. The governors here are present, and I see so many of you because we have a progressive governor being given a second time here today. The governor of Imo State. The man who is very hard working and industrious. I would say congratulations to both you your wife, and particularly again, the deputy governor who has been sworn in. Congratulations. To all our royal fathers here present, please excuse me not to go through the Part of putting uh, you one by one. All the honorable ministers, member of the Imo State House of Assembly, all the senior government officials. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor for me to be here in Imo State. And to congratulate the entire people of Imo State for being that discerning and determined to vote to, into a second term, a very unique individual that resonates with a progressive agenda. <laughs> Senator, oh, Mr. Dima. <laughs> there is no other way that it would have happened.
because your hope and our party and government is renewing the hope of our country. I show you here today you have, you have gotten a good and dependable democrat hard working peer of Han a man who would think and do as you have experienced in the past As he has taken the second oak of office, made for that commitment to continue to do hard work because that is the result of the reward you give him. Hard work for more work and good development. As his name symbolizes, we are here assuring you that your hopes and your hope are renewed. This man has just gone into the record book, winning well in all the local governments, so he has to do more work and find a good support at the national level to ensure economic recovery and rapid development of your state. I've just commissioned A road leading to the airport here. That is a great symbol of productivity from hope and demand. I stand before you to say. You have gone through twists and turns of democracy. You have been through some aspect of hard decisions. Each time I watch the news and see one frame or the other, one pain or the other associated with the removal of subsidy. Just remember that among you, your families are pregnant people. The day of birth is the day of pain. You go through the labor pain. When you see or you hear the voice of the baby, 
Your pains are gone and you are relieved. Nigeria is a teach. The last 40 years, some very few people were cornering our commonwealth, calling it subsidy. I call it wasteful and thievery. But right now, we are going through the pain. We are sharing that pain. But today, we are inaugurating a man's second term, a renewed hope. And that is why I am here. To guarantee you the hope that things are looking up. Things are getting better. And it will get greater and better for the common good of the Nigerian public. We just need to work hard, be more patient, Persevere and you have consistency in governance. Don't worry. With me here is hope. <laughs> the real hope. Say it again. Eh. I show you there will be substantial. Development in the education of your children. You will see the priority in industrialization. Healthcare will receive more allocation and more attention. Don't worry about what you are hearing about the Japa syndrome. We will train more people. And then we can supply them safe. I'm glad we are showing a very united country and moving forward. The peace that you are enjoying here relatively will be better. And we will work hard with you to achieve that peace. Before now, every one of us is enveloped with fear to come to Imo State. Today, Imo is safe and happy and ready for business. We what we learn from this is for us to walk together Join hand and pay attention to our internal security. I 
And today, incidentally, is the Armed Forces Remembrance Day. Baba save Johnny. all of you to the state house to have dinner. But which date I cannot say yet. Thank you very much. God bless all of you. It's a joy for me to be here today to witness a rekindle of hope and Blessing the city of prosperity for Imo State. It is for us all together to work hard for the stability and unity of this country. I assure you, we will get there. Hope. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Excellency, the President. You've been watching Arise live coverage of the second term inauguration of Governor Hope Uzodima of uh, Imo State. You've been watching uh, uh, the celebration, uh, the swearing in of uh, the governor for a second term of four years in office. And you've heard from the governor himself, Hope Uzodima, when he spoke about the new economic horizon for the Southeast state in the areas of manufacturing and industrial parks, uh, construction of new uh, cities. He spoke about agro allied, road construction, education, health, industrial policies, as well as housing, water sanitation, and water supply to the people of uh, Imo State. Uh, of course, the uh, grand event has been attended by dignitaries from across Nigeria, at least from at least 21 states of the Federation. Mr. President of the Federal Republic, uh, Bola Metinubu just uh, uh, made the keynote address there where he praised Governor Hopu Zodima for what he achieved in his first four years and asked the citizens of Imo State to keep faith as they assures them that the governor will do much better and a whole lot more in his second term in office. Of course, also present there, uh, but did not make a formal address on television, was Nigeria's former president, Olusegun Obasanjo, who was also there. That's been RI's news live coverage of the second term inauguration of Governor Hope Uzodima of Imo State. <laughs>